Good job getting a hundred on your test. I'm so proud of you. As a reward, I want to give you this five dollar bill. There you go. Um, giving rewards to people is the opposite of coercive behaviors. DeVito, chapter 13, page 305, defines coercive powers as the ability to administer punishments or remove rewards if others fail to yield to your influence. And that's DeVito. And giving you a reward is the exact opposite of coercive powers. And so coercive powers is punishment and things that you like giving you something bad because you didn't do something um and some examples of that would be in the workplace would be like um getting like losing a pay raise or getting a really really just like a really demanding project that's going to take a lot of time or getting a shorter deadline just things like that and then in a household things could be like um your mom putting you in time out for hitting your brother or washing your mouth out with soap for saying a bad word. So there's different types of course of powers just um, in different situations. And so um, the course of power and the destruction of human bodies by the research gate supports course of powers and says that um, that they're good and that they have um, a purpose and that they can really benefit us and so there's a quote and it's pretty long but i'll read it it says to fully understand the historical dynamics of violence it is paramount to recognize that its workings underpin the very fabric of modern social order and this is pretty much just saying that violence is the reason we are where we're at today and so it's talking about wars and how there was benefit of those and that we um are a free country and that we are who we are today but at the same time we have to just we have to just take it and see which side is is best and then another um site that's that's kind of against it and shows why course of powers are bad talks about them in the workplace and says tells disadvantages and this site is course of powers and how to recognize and overcome it by coach hub and it says that um if you use course of powers in the workplace then you can have stif your your employees like if you're a boss your employees could have stifled creativity distrust between management and employees, job dissatisfaction, bad working relationships, and it's only effective sh short term. And so I think with coercive powers, punishment is is okay and it's okay to use, but we have to really see how we're using it. And um, I found this example in Rio of Nigel, which is, um, he's pretty much a bully and he's this bird who is big and strong and scary and he is able to use his punishment and his course of powers to make others do what he wants to do and he's using it in a bad way of that he's making he's abusing it and making others scared of him and so i'll play this clip and this this movie is about um two blue macaws who come together in rio and just um go on a fun adventure and try to get free so i'll play this scene sorry Let's discuss it. I certainly see your point, but what could I possibly do for you in return? Hmm. Save me! Save me! Oh, well, that's a thought, yeah. But is it enough? I don't want to feel like I'm cheating you. Help me, help me, help me! We'll do it, we'll do it! Save me, please! Save me! And so Nigel in that scene um, is convincing Mario or Mario, whatever his name is, that he needs to help him find the blue macaws. And he uses the the punishment of scaring him like he was going to kill him, he was going to let him fall. He used the course of powers that he lifted up in the, up in the sky and he was bullying him um, as a way to, to get him to do what he wants. And so there's different sides of course of powers and to... To really decide if it's okay to use or not is not up to us, but we have to keep our course of powers in check. And so um, we have to see if the punishment is benefiting someone or if it's harming them. And so I think when we see course of powers, we can see that they can get out of hand and they can get too far, but we just have to um, really just look and see if we're, if we're keeping them in check with the rewards. And so when there's a course of power, there should always be a reward that goes with it. 
and we just need to be respectful of other people and just see that punishment is not all that should come but there should be a, an equal equal um counterpart of that with the reward